welcome back everyone to another video and this video has been in the making for a fairly long time it all started when i saw this board on i don't remember if it was aliexpress or ebay or just locally here uh, but what caught my eye was this particular sock on the board i had known of this socks existence for a while i just never saw it any in any form of a dev board or hardware that I can use and work with uh, or install Linux or run some things on it. It was always there in Wikipedia when you searched like the history of Intel and ARM. One of the special things about this sock is it's Intel's first attempt at making their own ARM SOCs and this is back in the early 2000s. They actually did buy the strong ARM IP from digital um, a while back in 1999, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, but uh, this is the successor to Strongarm. Uh, it was made in-house in Intel and it's called Xscale. Um, now, you'd say that it was made in-house, uh, but you can see a big Marvel logo on it and that is not the Intel logo. So what's going on? Um, Intel soon after uh, closed or like sold the X scale business to Marvel and they started manufacturing those chips. So it's very difficult because of the time period while Intel was manufacturing their own X scale chips uh, was so short, it's very difficult to get an Intel branded one. Um, and I've never done video on this. This is the Gemma um, board that you just get online. If you type in Gemma board, there's more than a good chance you'd end up with one of these. It's an arcade console game board. So this will connect to the CRT. You have all of these ports, all of these pins actually connect to a harness that connect to all of your uh, controls on your arcade machine. And we have a couple of serial connectors, maybe for some other inputs um, and a very simple power circuitry here. Uh, the only problem with this board was that it wasn't very hackable. So I was planning on at some point buying uh, another board that was a bit easier to hack and then eBay had this beauty lying around. Um, this is not only a full-blown uh, Toradex development kit for the uh, Xscale CPUs, uh, one of the few early ones. It's actually an Intel CPU. So if you, uh, the marking on it is a bit weary, but if you look at it carefully, and I'll post a zoomed in image of it, there is the Intel logo on the SOC. So this is the original like Intel sock made by Intel or sold by Intel, Not, nothing Marvel on here. Um, there's uh, a RAM chip, a storage chip, uh, flash chip from Intel that's also Intel labeled and if we take this out from here like so this model comes apart and we have a couple other chips at the back uh, more RAM um, and I'm getting one I think one more storage chip so yeah pretty pretty neat um, and I was lucky enough to get this and document it so here it is. Uh, there's nothing else on the board. It's a very old uh, board. The chips from 2004. The board design might be older. So you have a compact flash card and that, yes, it, it natively exposes IDE. There is an SD card slot. There's VGA and as far as I know, it natively exposes VGA. Same on the Gemma card that I showed. That's Ethernet, uh, USB host to USB, uh, yeah, USB host guest and host uh two usb two ports audio mic and a serial port um big fat power uh regulation area here so it takes in around 7 to 24 volts and then you have 3.3 and 5 volts that are fed into um the uh the som and i believe uh the cpu also runs at 3.3 volts uh, and then this is the LVDS connector. So this is not just generic I, uh, GPIO on, on like a Pi header. There was no Pi header back then. Uh, this is the LVDS header. And I think these are analog and PWM headers are there. RTS uh, battery for timing. Uh, one of the more interesting parts about this uh, Xscale design is it is ARM V5 um, and some extension of it. But because it was designed by Intel, it also has mmx and 
a subset of SSE built into it. So there are some like instruction that you can only instructions that you can only find in older x86 CPUs that are actually available in here for folks to use. Uh, now this board is so old um, and this is somewhat of a recent realization I've had since I've got this board and the old geode board is there was a very little embedded Linux back in the day. It was all, all Windows CE. So for this particular board, Toradex doesn't even support Linux. They only have BSPs for Windows CE. So as far as Toradex and Intel are concerned, this board should never run Linux or like could never run Linux or never was officially supported on it. Uh, the, the Air Sports, the U-Boot only recently discontinued Linux. Uh, U-Boot recently discontinued support for this. Uh, I think U-Boot released 2020 or 2021 still has it. Master doesn't. Uh, in, in Linux, you can still find um, you know, with, without uh, without the device tree stuff, you can still find support for this particular SOM. So it's in the machine, um, the config Mac or config machine um, dev config where you can enable support. There is device tree for the SOC or like more like device tree include files for the SOC, uh, but not device tree files for the SOM or this particular board. So it's going to be tough running uh, modern Linux on it, but I'll try anyways. That's not the topic for today. I just wanted to show the hardware and you know, the fact that I, I could actually score an Intel original uh, X scale SOC uh, was just too exciting to, you know, wait till I get, could get Linux running on it. So it does have Windows CE already installed on it and we're going to boot that. All right, turning it on in three, two, one. The lights are on, let's see what shows up. So we are, it kind of skipped over the initial uh, boot stage and it, it's VGA output is kind of off um, and I've tried a couple of capture card and this one seems to be the less glitchy one. So I'll just go with it and actually it's glitching pretty much in the same way. Um, so not sure what's happening because if I dif display it over uh, my v regular VGA, it's fine. I'm wondering if it's a grounding issue. So if I go to control panel, I can open up. Yeah, it's really bad. System. And here you can see it says Windows CE uh, 2004 and Intel ARM um, 920T EXA 270 if you scroll past it. Um, I'll try and... So because it's glitching too much, I won't keep this window on for so long, uh, but I did want to show the command prompt, uh, which is um, a, a very minimal, like a DOS prompt built in. It's not like full DOS. Uh, so I've not tried running Doom on it, for example, and I'm not sure if that'll even work. So it's a very minimal version of DOS that runs internally, and uh, that's all right. There's nothing much on it. Um, you, you can't do a whole lot. So there's like SDKs, you can run those, and you can run your apps, and, and you know, uh, Toradex has had a bunch of apps. Uh, but as far as anything else is concerned, this is it. So this is this is uh, just a short tour of the board, and I I hope that the capture was a bit better. But it's not. I'm not sure what's happening. Whether it's internal something on the board or, um, both my capture cards are dead, which is a rare possibility. Uh, it's actually not really. Uh, doesn't have a very stable output. But anyways, uh, we saw Windows CE running. We are seeing this board running. This is, as far as I'm concerned, an iconic SOC. Um, Intel has uh, historically been kind of um, anti-ARM, uh, which kind of makes sense. And that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope I'll be able to do a few more things with this board and uh, maybe uh, get a couple of videos out. So I'll see you in the next one.